So this week's tip of the week, I'd like to talk to you about what I'm going to label as hybrid pavement. What we have here on this site, and a lot of you will recognize this site as being the Teco Showcase 2016 that we installed. This product here, obviously we got some non-permeable pavement and we have permeable pavement. So we mixed it up in this uh, application and yet all of it, as far as the base, it's laid on our felt fabric, our number 57s, which is a three quarter clear stone. And that obviously is brought up within finished grade. We screeded our number eight stone, which is our three eighths crushed stone. And we're able to lay this entire patio surface or paver surface standard the way you normally would lay your permeable the only difference is some of this we swept in with polymeric sand some of it we left open grade what this allows us to is have uh, different obviously surfaces some of these areas we wanted the water to sheet off and then allowing some of these borders to accommodate that water runoff again the water can absorb down to those permeable areas and dissipate out into the yard As you can see, we have over 4,000 square feet of pavers installed on this site. Um, that's not including our verticals, our retaining walls. But obviously, to our uh, to credit of Pave Tool and our tools, we did install 170 plus pallets in this yard in less than three weeks. Two weeks and four days, actually, we installed all the hardscapes in this area. And as you can see, you probably recognize some of this project. Plants are starting to really mature. Grass is uh, coming in beautifully. So we're excited the way this worked. But again, getting back to the permeable part of this job, I have seen virtually no movement. And those of you who know me know I build my business on honesty and integrity. Um, I virtually have seen no movement in this site at all. And again, I credit that to this entire base, an entire site being built on permeable. Um, again, all this that you're looking at, the larger patio has at least 12 inches of three quarter inch open grade stone, your number 57s, up towards the house. We had a little bit of an issue with uh, some of our window wells. That drops down over four feet of stone up next to the house. And then that water drains out into a rainwater harvest system. So you can see even up against the house, We've installed, like I said, five feet of stone. And again, you're seeing virtually no movement in any of those products up there. So highly impressive. And we have used this system on numerous amounts of jobs that we've done over the past few years. We've switched to doing a lot of our bases on open grade or 57s, especially in a raised application, a raised patio application. Extremely helpful, you get no movement of frost within your 57s. So in conclusion, something to consider. Open grade base with non-permeable and permeable surfaces on top. As you can see from um, what we've done here, we have no failure rate at all. So I highly recommend that. Again, I don't believe it's ICPI certified at this point. I do see it being certified in the future. Uh, but again, something to think about. We love it. We've had great success. And maybe you can too.